I thought it would be best if I just used what I had in mind, in my memory, and put together some fashion ideas. The Kelly Robinson character came from showboating. My Sherry. He happened to have the power behind the punch too, but part of it was the show of it all, and that's what made, would make it funny. Open handed, y'all like to see that, wouldn't you? The open handed stretch. We played that up. You know, we we played right into it. His leather jacket that he wears when he first meets Famka is uh, by Dolce Gabbana. His uh, leather jacket that he wears into the baths. It's a perforated leather motorcycle jacket. It's by Giorgio Armani. I just tried to make sure he had the gear. He was geared up, you know. I gave him a diamond stud, and I had all of his jewelry made. He has a boxing gloves necklace that's paved and, you know, ostentatious. <laughs> boxing gloves were great. She spent too much money on them, however, but um, the 57, the little 57 pin that Eddie wore was a really nice touch. Sort of flashy was the, the theme behind what we selected for Eddie. And it wasn't hard because that's the reality of sometimes the boxing world. General, special agent. I still love hearing that. I was just a regular agent until a couple of weeks ago, Christmas. I got promoted to special. We just tried to keep Owen somewhat normal. We gave him a, a blue shirt and jeans and made him comfortable. Get a corduroy jacket and put it on Owen for the whole movie. There, that's perfect. That's who he should be. The most normal looking guy in the world. One character piece that we did do with him, he likes to wear boondockers. Those are boots. We kept the boondockers on with the tuxedo. He knew that he would need to do some spy work at this party and, you know, having on a dress shoe would not accomplish his mission. So I thought the boondockers on with his tuxedo was appropriate. Hey, what you doing hanging from Cena like that? I designed black shirts at first. And once I had the illustrations done, then we decided that uh, black shirts would be too dark since um, a lot of the shooting of the chase the party is at night, so we switched to white shirts. Here it comes. Get his gun dogs? Here it comes. Here's some badass jacket he got on. There is a particular tuxedo that is customary in Budapest. It's called a bachkai. And Betty came to set one in our early days and saw them. She says, I love this, you know, I love this tuxedo. Let's, all of them have to have it now, which, you know, we only got our hands on, like, we only had like 20, you know. So we ended up making more. And when Malcolm McDowell arrived in Budapest, we had to tailor make his. You know, if she hadn't found those, we would we would have had nothing. We would just had a stupid, normal suit on those guys. It would have been okay, but it was so special that she did find that. I, that was really good. Excuse me, excuse me. The famous boxer? Yeah, one and the same, baby. Oh. Famka, we had so much fun. I got Famka really late in the game. I was leaving for Budapest the day after her fitting. And so I picked her up uh, from the hotel and literally put her look together in the car. Don't tell anyone. From the parking lot of Fred Siegel, I packed a box and my assistant uh, met me there and took it to FedEx to make sure it arrived in, in Canada to go to Budapest in time. Yeah, <laughs> go get TJ, he'll help you. And meanwhile, there were other scenes that she was uh, going to play in where we had the leather jacket, the leather suit that you, she wears when we first meet her when she's sort of like this street walking girl. Do you really bad it? Hmm? That was made for her. Yeah, she had good touches. She spent a lot of money, but she had good touches. <laughs> she did. Mm -hmm.